after 30 years and I just say we've been very, very lucky and that no other people have found either one of us the least bit attractive. <laughs> we've been together so long, we don't even have to talk anymore. We know what the other person is thinking. It's scary, we're on the same wavelength. Sometimes I'll be lying in bed and he'll just roll over and whisper in my ear, you're wrong. <laughs> Honesty is very important in a relationship. I think it must be avoided. And uh, I'm honest, I just wait till the right time. I wait till he says, I broke a dish. And then I say, I scratched the car. I lost my wallet. I kicked your mother. Because my mother-in-law is a cranky woman. <laughs> she is, uh, and uh, she has arthritis and she won't take any pain pills because she doesn't want to become addicted. She's 90. <laughs> What's the worst thing that could happen for the last 10 years of her life? She'll be in a good mood. <laughs> but you try to help people. We bought her one of those walk-in bathtubs, but she keeps uh, filling it up and then opening the door. So... <laughs> Martin and I have gotten along much better since the GPS system was invented, so we don't fight as much in the car. Uh, well, the first GPS lady, we had to get rid of her because she sounded like his mother and they'd pull over and argue for hours, but... <laughs> I remember the first time we got in that car and we were going to San Diego, he just programmed it in and everything was going great till we changed our minds. We were going to San Diego, we changed our minds, we decided to go to Los Angeles. And we didn't know how to tell the car. <laughs> we finally had to go to San Diego just to shut her up. bought the car with the self-parking system. I said, we don't need it. Well, we needed it the other day. We were parking, a policeman came over and said, that's a no parking zone. And Martin said, nothing to do with me. <laughs> this is where the car wants to park. Because <laughs> cars are almost human these days. They tell you everything they're feeling. A yellow light comes on if the tires need air, a red light comes on if it needs cooler. The other day we were driving along, a purple light came on. And I looked it up and it turned out the car was just feeling vulnerable. <laughs> My car was in the shop and I had to drive Martin's car and you know what happened? I bumped into a pole on the passenger side. And I didn't tell him because he never goes over to that side. <laughs> And one day he went over to that side and he got furious. <laughs> and I said, there's no use getting angry now. This happened six months ago. <laughs> so I finally got a new car because you know what I wanted? I wanted a keyless ignition. Cause don't you hate looking for that key? I just said, I deserve a keyless ignition. So um, I got a car with a keyless ignition. I was driving at home. I decided to stop at Starbucks to get a $9 cup of coffee and <laughs> I wanted to test my keyless ignition. And uh, I came out and I held my coffee because I knew I didn't have to go in my handbag. And I would just pull the handle and it didn't work. No. And I said, oh, maybe I'm aiming it wrong. And I turned my, and I put nothing. And finally a guy came out and told me what I was doing wrong. I felt so dumb. He said, that's my car. 